Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today we have our Royal Rumble 2021 pay-per-view preview and predictions. A little bit late on this one. Uh, been busy working and all that. You know, it's uh, it's been a rough time for me here with the lockdown and everything. It's, you know... It's really hard getting around to work and everything, uh, so I hope you guys can understand. I'm doing my best here to put out a, a video every once in a while. You know, it's not what, uh, what I would like to be doing right now, but uh, bills got to be paid. I still got to go to work, and unfortunately, I just don't have time right now to, you know, make the videos that I would like to, so... I I always feel guilty about not putting out uh, more videos, so let's get into this Royal Rumble 2021. It's always uh, one of my favorite events of the year, and one of the better events of each year. So I'm uh, I'm really happy. I I think this is gonna be a good Rumble. It's gonna be tough to top last year's. You know, with uh, the big edge returning and all that stuff. Um, really, it's going to be tough. You know, I don't see many surprise returns this year. But you never know. It's the Royal Rumble. I'm expecting something to happen. I'm expecting someone to come down that aisle. So, six matches have been announced. Um, not sure if there will be a pre-show match or whatever. But, uh, try to shut that off for now. So, we pretty much have our standard Royal Rumble card here. Uh, our Rumble matches, our championship matches. No big grudge match at this year's Rumble. You know, and, and last year, uh, I only predicted seven WWE pay-per-views of the, I think, 12 or 13 um, so yeah, it, it's been tough for me to get to work and, and things like that during these times. Um, yeah, public transit hasn't been too kind to, to the ghost. Um, so first up here, the women's tag titles on the line, Asuka and Charlotte versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Um, you know... As much as I'd like to see Asuka and Charlotte retain here, I'm going to predict that Jax and Baszler actually get the titles back. It gives them something to do heading into Mania, and I do think it's going to be kind of Asuka-Charlotte heading into Mania. You know, that big rematch from uh, a couple of years ago. So I, I actually looked at the TLC 2020, uh, which I kind of... Did my predictions, not really though. Um, you know, I wrote them down. I didn't uh, didn't do the video or anything, but I did write Nia Jackson to Mina uh, instead of Shayna. So I'm, I'm going to go with new tag champs on, on that one. Second match uh, up here. Uh, well, we'll save that one for later. Sasha Banks, the blueprint. Defending the Women's Championship of the Blue Brand versus Carmella. You know, this is pretty much the same card we've seen at TLC. Um, you know, I, I don't expect a different outcome here. I am going with the boss to retain. You know, I, I, I believe she deserves a, a good title reign here heading into WrestleMania. And that might uh, sway some of my predictions. It may not. Ugh, can't believe they actually went with this. Uh, Drew McIntyre and Goldberg for the WWE Championship. This is uh, one of Goldberg's first WWE Championship opportunities. He may have had one uh, way back in the day, you know, 2003 era, but he was always on Raw with the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. And since then, he has been... Uh, Challenging for the Universal title. So I don't think he's had many WWE Championship matches. 
Uh, I I do not want to see another Goldberg Championship reign. You know, we got that at WrestleMania 33 in 2017. You know, I think the fans are, you know, already over Goldberg. You know, these, these little spurts of Goldberg are okay. He doesn't need to be champion, though. You know, the stuff with Lesnar was great. You know, I... I think uh, it's going to be a, a safe night for the championship and Drew McIntyre. So I'm going with McIntyre to retain. Um, uh, I don't expect much from this match. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm praying Goldberg does not win the title. <laughs> you know, if they put it on him, it's going to be simply a ratings move. And they need all the help they can get right now. <laughs> it's... Uh, been a rough year for uh, WWE ratings. And then Roman Reigns defending the Universal Championship against Kevin Owens. You know, similar to most of these matches here, I, I just don't see Reigns dropping the title coming up before WrestleMania, which puts Kevin Owens in a rough spot. You know, maybe he could kind of ease his way into the title match heading into Mania. But this is a last man standing match. Kevin Owens, I believe, retained the title at the 2016 Royal Rumble match. The IC title, anyway. And then the last man standing match against Dean Ambrose. Um, this is going to be another good match. You know, Kevin Owens can, can handle himself in and out of the ring. I'm going to go with uh, Reigns to retain. The safe bet here is with Roman Reigns. Then we have our two Royal Rumble matches. You know, it. I think the predictions get a little tougher here when you're talking about two Royal Rumble matches because you're trying to think of uh, who the champions are, who they might put the belts on heading into Mania. You know, do they want to go with a heel face? Do they want to go with two heels, two faces? It's uh, it's kind of tough to get put put together here. Especially since, uh, you know, most of the participants have been announced. I think they've announced uh, about half the men and 13 or so women. We know Orton and Edge will be one and two. And then uh, Natalia Neidhart will be number 30. You know, there was this whole outrage of uh, WWE fans uh, that the number 30 has been spoiled. That's it. Cancel the network. You know, we're we're done. <laughs> you know, it. I, I, I just don't see it. it. It's not that big of a deal to me to announce a number 30 spot or the number one spot. To me, that was always a big deal. I always wanted to see... If the guy who was uh, kind of forced into number one, sometimes they would announce themselves as number one. You know, Benoit did it. Um, Benoit did uh, was kind of forced into it by Paul Heyman. And, uh, you know, a few others have done it. But I always wanted to see, you know, if, if this guy could go the distance and, you know, last till the end and win the thing. Um, you know, we only know... Two guys have ever stepped in at number one and ended up winning the thing. Number 30, the winner has never won after being announced. So don't put too much, uh, don't stress yourself out too much about this. For the women's rumbles, um, I'm going to go with Bailey, Alexa Bliss, and I, I guess the favorite here this year is Bianca Belair. Um... You know, last year it was Charlotte who challenged for the NXT title. Um, I, I definitely don't see them doing it this year, the NXT title. But uh, I, I kind of don't really see them steering too far off, off the course of what they've already been building. So I think if Bailey wins it, she could go right back after Sasha. Or even Asuka would be a, a decent opponent for her. A lot of people are going with Flair. I'm not against, you know, winning back-to-backs here. 
So Charlotte could be a good option. For my dark horse, I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey once again. You know, she, she has not uh, made any noise since leaving. You know, no peeps of uh, her name. And then uh, for the men's, same thing here. I'm going to pick about uh, three people. Braun Strowman, Daniel Bryan, or AJ Styles. Those are going to be my top three picks here. Leaning more towards Styles and Bryan, you know, I think one of those two guys would uh, definitely be worthy of the Royal Rumble victory here. And my dark horse is going to be Brock Lesnar. You know, uh, I, I, I just want to see Lesnar return and just dominate everyone. You know, he doesn't have to win at Mania, but seeing him return would be really cool. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and your predictions for this night's Royal Rumble event, the first event of 2021. Um, definitely looking forward to it. As always, guys, take some time. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll talk to you later. Peace!